Hey guys, this is my first video after I reached the 100 subscribers mark. I'm very happy about that. And please keep subscribing. I make at least one to two videos per week to inform you about the latest things about mainly the Sony Xperia S. Some things will gonna be about the Sony, X Sony Ericsson Xperia X8 and some things about the Samsung Galaxy Note, but mainly about the Sony Xperia S. So, yesterday I will show you the Slim Bean ROM version 2.5, I think, for the Sony Xperia S. So, let's start. At the start, you can see the Sony logo, and in this kernel, we have CVM Touch integrated so you can navigate with your fingers and yes let's reboot again yes, after you saw the Sony logo and the LED lighted up uh, you come into the Slim beam boot animation. And yes. So here you see it. And yes, let's start. I just have to enter my pin. So let's start with the launcher. The launcher is the Holo Launcher A HD. So in here you have many settings for your launcher. You have general settings, desktop settings, draw settings, dock settings, and so on. So you can change many, many things. I changed in here that I have five rows for apps about the above above the dock down here and in the dock you can scroll and in the app draw I have six rows of apps and yes in the settings the main point is the advanced slim settings interface so in here you have very 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 much to um, customize so you display settings first so in the display settings you can um, customize your brightness, your notification light, your uh, rotation and yes in the general settings you can change your LCD density density yes and enable dual panel mode and other things in the hardware keys um, section you can enable custom actions for your sensitive, sensitive buttons down here and the keyboard and out input methods you can um, disable or enable the auto, auto rotation for keyboards or the full screen keyboard and you can change some things in the lock screen you can enable or disable the notification and navigation bar down here these buttons but I don't like them so I disable them and you can change what you want to have in the power menu this thing when you press the power button so you can have your expanded desktop screenshot reboot power off and those things then you have th settings for sound the status bar and wi-fi and, and then you have the quiet hours point here so you can let the phone sleep when you sleep and as usual you have themes here the slim center where you can check if your device is up to date and about slim you can you, you can deny donate the developers and you can enable or disable the real dark slim so you're then it's getting dark but i don't like this dark so i disable them and if you don't have these developer settings down here, you can go in about phone and tap on the build number. 
and then you said you enable developer settings and then you have the developer settings down here you can enable um, USB debugging and do things yes that was the main point the large settings and yes you can have all those Google things when you flash Google Apps and place this working good working good and yes and it's running perfectly smooth I don't have any games on here right now but you can see it's running really smooth and yes if you have any questions you can post them below in the comments and if you want to see anything else just post it here or in the link in the description to the slim bean rom in the thread and I'll make another video and see you in the next video bye